What's up, everybody? It's been a minute, huh? It's been a little while. I'm still here, and you know what? We're going back. Let's. No, yeah. We're going back to the White Knights. I, I was actually thinking about making a channel of, like, me only playing White Knights, which is pretty much what this is here. So we're just like one. Yeah, so I, I still like magic. I uh, got a new apartment. There you go. Got a game already. Uh, moved cross country. Um, I don't know if you can see any of the junk in the background. Selling on eBay and stuff lately. I haven't played this deck in a minute. Uh, or magic at all. Um, I'm going to keep this. I know this is not a keepable hand. But I'm going to keep it off the strength of... Hey! Look at that. Magic is easy. So easy. Maybe they didn't like the setup I had of like the one win or something. I don't know. Cause I, I don't like to do, I don't like the sideboard. If I'm just jumping on here to do like a casual game, I'm not trying to like overthink things. Just looking for a good game. So, what's been up with me? Been playing a lot of Overwatch, and I was that's what actually I was going to do. And then it just hit me on a whim. I was like, you know, I haven't uploaded anything in a while, so let me go ahead and do that. So. Um, yeah, I haven't followed much of the... Is this too loud? Check, check, check. Um, I haven't followed much of the updates for Magic. I have been watching, um, Alpha Investments quite a bit. Really dig what, uh, what Rudy... Yeah, Rudy, right? Yeah, really dig what he's up to. Um, been selling on eBay, selling on Amazon a while back, so that's what most of the stuff is. Um... Oh, it's so good to see these cards again. It really is. I, I, I miss Magic. And we're going to start out with the Sky Ruin because it comes into play tapped. Followed by the... We'll probably be behind land. So the Knight of the White Orchid is going to probably do some work for us here. So, yeah. I think it's good. Um, but yeah, the White Knight... I, I love simple decks. I don't really like green i despise red i'm cool with playing black actually like just those polar opposites of like mono white mono black that's my style um and i love like janky decks too like if you check on my channel here there's a lot of stuff that's like blue green polymorph like the jankiest thing but like i love it um okay so i want to do night of the meadow grain they might have like some kind of um you know, dead weight, something like that, but, um, since we're head on land, you know, I don't know if I should have let him play first, knowing the fatal push, okay, yeah, I've heard of this card, um, yeah, see, that, this is how long it's been since I played, I'm just like, oh, I've, I've heard of fatal push, um, so, that's how it goes, you know, no worries, we're still in the game, uh, I don't want to drop... Knight of the White Orchid and not get any value out of it. So, Death Touch, Life Link. If we path that during his attack phase and then do Knight of the White Orchid, I'm not obsessed with the with the White Orchid. It's just I'm trying to figure out these plays here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's see what else he does as far as trying to, if he has, I, I'm, I'm not really thinking any sacrifice combos, but you never know. Um, and I'm thinking if we throw down the Knight of the White Orchid right now, it would probably just die to something. So I feel like we need our, what is Fatal Push? Because he's probably running four of. Destroy. So I think we need to get, damn, like the, Knight Templar out too to make it indestructible. Otherwise, we could just be seeing a ton of our stuff get killed. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and path it. I know that that's not like Death Touch, Life Link. It's not like a huge, huge barrier for us in the long term. Actually, the Life Link could because that's our whole game plan is. Uh, and then the Sky Ruin could actually help us in the late game with getting our stuff back here. Let's go ahead and drop the White Orchid first. 
And that's the thing that I like about um, playing the same deck a lot. You know, like, I've been playing this for a very long time, where you can kind of... What the hell? Why is it all weird like that? Yep, all planes, baby. Um, let me drop another one. And, uh... So he's got first strike. We got... Actually, you know what? We have Brave the Elements up. I think we'll leave that up. Or we save it for Knight Exemplar, because that's going to be his big target, I think. Or we can just drop Hero next turn and just go all in. Maybe if, if he burns a Fatal Push... Oh, now we've probably got Lightning Bolts and stuff coming. Okay. Death Touch, Lifelink. 3-4. Uh, so the... F does not have First Strike... Uh, bu bu bu. And for everybody, if anybody's watching on Twitch, I didn't even load up the chat. Sorry. It's usually not too jumping. So. Hmm. Yep. Let's do that. Maybe not the best move, but, you know, kind of wanted to piss him off a little bit. If we draw into a land, what is this protection from? Red and blue, fire and ice isn't going to do a whole hell of a lot for us here. It's kind of a tough match to break through. Alright, so we got two heroes. Indestructible. Let's drop this first. So he's got Polluted Delta up. He conceded off of that. All right, let's get one more game going. I did, I did, I felt like that was a bad conceit, like, like a rage quit kind of vibe. Um. Yeah, this is good. I didn't even look at it hardly. Um. Student of Warfare. <clears throat> Probably level it up next turn and just kind of wait till we get some more land. <clears throat> or if the board's empty, yeah, I I don't know. Actually, the three three is probably better than dropping the meadow grain. I hope you guys can see. I've tried to make this large. Everybody says make your cards larger. Looks like this is about as big as it goes. I think so. Thoughts is on me. He's probably taking hero. Huh. That's insane. Why would he take Knight of the Meadow Grain? Alright, so let's bump this dude up. And, yeah, let's do it a second time. So we're leaving ourselves open here with uh, without the Brave the Elements, but I have a gut instinct that, just judging by that thought sees, they're going to be like, I think, uh, I don't know, maybe tearing apart our hand for a couple rounds, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so still nothing, so I'm guessing... I don't know if Fatal Push is an instant, but there's definitely no shortage of black instants. Uh, let's go ahead and do Knight Exemplar, actually. I'm just realizing now how big of a damn target that Knight Exemplar is. Unless you have two out. Um, so we're chip. I'm not even looking at the life total. Alright. Why don't people want to finish games? That's three in a row. Well, 
guys, uh, okay, ah, Jesus, let's, let's try one more, only because it's been so long since I've, like, played and done anything, it's kind of ridiculous though, three concedes in a row, like, that's not actually playing, like, what do you possibly, unless you realize, like, oh my, but he just went, I'm playing against the exact same person, that I played with just a second ago. It wasn't like he was like, oh, my deck sucks. I need to go back to the drawing board. Like, they just quit, and now we're playing again. <sighs> I, I pretty much never concede. Even when I used to go out to stores and play in person, um, I'll fight to the... Unless it's, like, completely 100% obvious that I'm going to lose, like... We're like on that very last turn, but whatever. Just a game. For God's sakes, we're in the just for fun area. Maybe that says something about me <laughs> that I'm just getting so pissed off. I don't know. All right, so we're gonna see some red come down here. Um, yeah, I'm not running any main board. I almost forgot what it was called. Is it main board? Um, protection from red. Okay, so... Oh, that's weird. He didn't even grab a mountain. First strike exalted. That could be a good thing. Because I think we're going to need... Yeah, <clears throat> we're definitely going to need that exalted trigger. Then we're just kind of trading off on that... I, I think I'm actually going to drop that sword. Because I doubt this dude has any artifact hate, so if I can get the sword online, I think that, that'll... But then he's just going to concede again. Why, why am I even trying to make good plays? Um, yeah, so I don't think he has any artifact hate. He definitely has a lot of creature hate. So we got to be careful once we try to attach it to something. Um, just making sure that he's tapped out and can't, you know... Um, I, I used to love this card in Pauper. What was it called? It's like the instant that's minus two, minus two. It's like heavy... <laughs> heavy ball or dead... Dead dead guy. Something. Um, or it's like an instant minus two, minus two for one black man. I forgot. What, dead... dead Deadly... Who knows? Um, but yeah, so... Uh, collective Brutality. I can't do anything about that. Um, I think we're just going to drop Knight of the Meadow Green. We're going to take some hits for a few turns. And we're going to let him burn out all of his removal on our... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it clean on, on our bad cards. So, Knight of the Meadow Green, stuff like that. We'll let him use his Collective Brutality Fatal Push on that stuff. Um... Hopefully while we, I don't know, this is, like, with that lifelink, this is going the opposite direction. But if he attacks, then we attack back, and we get our two, um, two life back that we lost. So next turn, we're on board for Hero of the Blade Hold. I feel like a Thought Seize or Inquisition is coming. What the hell? I hate this many words. Whenever another non-token... Creature control dies, exile, return to the battlefield, transformed. Oh, it's a planeswalker. Okay. So I'm just going to path it right now. Like, I'm not even going to let this become a thing. So this looks like one of the semi-new cards. Yeah, bye-bye, dude. Peace the F out. Gotta love Pass to Exile, man. Like, the best. Plus, with the synergy with the uh, Knight of the Meadow Grain on this deck, like, <clears throat> as long as you don't use it for dumb threats like I used on, on that last game. Uh, not gonna block here. And my old standby is dropping the sword and attaching it in the, in the exact same turn. Which we're not going to be able to do this upcoming turn. 
We did hit our land drop. Um, let's go ahead and drop the sword. Let him know that the heat's coming. Kind of divert his attention a little bit. Even though we can't attach it yet. Unless they changed it to equip one. No. That would have been cool. Maybe people would start... I don't think people use swords that much in modern. Um... And I don't even know what the hell is going on in standard these days. Like, I still keep track of uh, MTG Goldfish every now and again because just I like the net decks that they make and just you know not that I'm making them myself, but I I do sometimes. Uh, and they had a really interesting article on net decking about how it's like the beginning of brewing, which totally makes sense. Uh, crap and. Yeah, this card spiked in value. Good card. They don't make them like they used to. I mean, they have, this was like an uncommon. Was that Zendikar? Like, it's awesome. Especially for mono black stuff. Now, this other one, Death Touch Life Link, like, that's a. I, I guess for the casting cost, too. Yeah, it's a pretty solid card, too. Yet yeah, uncommon. Um, when, when, I, when I like playing the mono black stuff, um. It's janky as all hell, but it's not the uh, not the seven seven that you know the crazy crazy expensive card. But there's like some other like jankified card that I loved, and then uh, see I can't remember any of these card names because um, there's there's so many um, destruction. It was the f I, I need to go find it. Oh, I have to sacrifice. Okay. Give him a saws. Did it, did that even type? Who knows? So once we drop hero, that will be a pretty solid roadblock for him with the three four body. And once we're ready to attack, we can attach the sword. He'll probably be ready with some instant killer or something. But, uh, see, I, I, I love this. I'm not conceding, even though I'm, like, losing now. I'm not gonna rage quit like this dude. Um, even if I didn't think we had a chance of winning, I'd still play it through. Because you learn stuff, you know. Especially if you've been away from the game. As long as, and I'm, I'm not getting back. I'm still just playing Overwatch and just trying to get money like it's expensive to move across the country kids if you're young do it if you're older it's not easy thought sees yeah buddy take get the two life hit oh it does have death touch and my guy does not have uh first strike so that would not be good Garros Mester god Another, I, I, I love the cards that this dude's playing. Garrel's Messenger is awesome, but it sucks to play against. Um, deals two damage, and you draw a card if we get through. So he's going to become a 5 6. He's tapped out. 5 6, Death Touch, Life Link. That Death Touch is not going to do a damn thing for us. Um. But we get more to attach it to. And, uh, and, we, and we gotta start getting some hits in. I think you can probably already tell by my... You know, let's drop this too. No, let's drop that later. By my body language, I'm like... <laughs> getting up... Because it's great. Like, now, now this is the game. For me. I always mess this up. I think you do this one first. I don't know why they... Just fix here with the blade hold, because you know how we want to use it. I always mess up that trigger sometimes, like... It's so weird. Yeah, that's what I figured was going to happen, pretty much. Um, and then, let's go... Um, I'm tempted just to attach it. You know what, I think we need to be able to have something that's... Uh, not only up to block, first strike against the zombie, always good. 
Um, but also ready to attack next turn, too. Two cards in hand for opponent. Zero for me. But look at me. I ain't stressed. I ain't stressing. So, got another one of those cards from that dude. Two, three, Death Touch, Life Link. Not the best for us, but I think we go in with the uh, little soldier token, actually. Throw the sword on it. We got mana open for another one. No, Exemplar, actually. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Indestructible. He's probably going to chump block it, so let's spread... Kind of hedging our bets here a little bit. Hit him with two different three threes. So yeah, first strike lifelink. That'll get us back in the game. He's got two mana open. One card in hand, though. It's probably a creature or something. So Geralt's Messenger comes back, right? Stronger or weaker? Undying, so it comes back stronger. We got no path. Um, if we do draw into path, though, I think I'm going to save it for that Liliana. Because that was a good catch. I think that was part of what made him concede the game last time. Um, oh, no, buddy. I can't attach it. Okay. So, the 4-3, um, I think the sword's going to be going on the Knight Exemplar. If he double blocks, that'll be 6 to 4, which actually, no, that's not good either. I think we just got to go with the sword on the Knight of the Metagrain, the life... It's indestructible, though, bro. Does that... No, I guess that doesn't... Uh, it works with destroy mechanics, I guess. Oh, this freaking game. I'm I'm gonna talk some trash. Should I concede like you did? <laughs> Starting some shit. Yeah, this is this is going down the tubes for us right quick. I don't even know if this dude's watching the chat. Um, you know what's weird? I was on. Uh, I played Diablo three for a while. I was like pretty heavy into that, and. Um, and I checked Twitter hashtags for Diablo 3 just to see, like, what news was going on and whatever. The only thing on Twitter was people promoting themselves streaming. So my advice, um, if you're streaming, like, don't just talk about how you're going to stream. Give me some news, like... Tell me what's up with the game. Give me your interpretation of it. Don't just, like, spam about how you're streaming and, like, I don't care. I, I don't know where that came from, but they're just talking about video games. and um, I'm not playing this season of Diablo 3. This The seasons are just too much the same. Like, literally this, the exact same thing. I got the green wings... Check out my Instagram at the National Pool, and um, you can see the picture. Not you know, you can just Google it too if you just want to see what the green wings look like. But um, I think we go after Garoff's Messenger because that's going to be the biggest hit. He's not indestructible though. No. Oh no, the the first strike actually. Yeah, it's good. We need some life link up in here, man. I need to kind of maybe change this deck around. 
Um, let's swing in, see what happens. I'm already like, I need, I, I tilt a lot, I think. So we can deal two damage to it. Was it a creature or player? And draw a card. There we go. Finally a trigger. So deal two damage to him. Because we can't do anything to those. Uh... We got a path. That's something. So we're going to drop this other knight. Looks like dude's stuck on land there. Um, we are two planes away. What if I should attach? Yeah, let's just go this way. Um, two planes away from the Sky Ruin actually working for once. So that should be pretty interesting if we can hang in there until that point. Okay. Okay. That card seems odd. I guess he does need card draw. And the lifelink works. It seemed like a weird... I guess he was desperate. Yeah, that seems like a decent play, I guess. Um, so, I'm, I'm not doing path. I think he's desperate for that Liliana. Yeah, and he even held back on the attack, too, because he's going to double block. Um... I'm going to do the same thing. Go in with one. Swap out the sword to the other. Classic move, I guess. I don't know. Alright, so a chump lock. Double... Okay, so let's look at the first strike. Though. No, so we're good. Like... Double chump block. And he didn't get the lifelink off that either, man. Oh no! I did my math wrong. That sucks. Oh well. Where are all my creatures, man? So at least we got out that one, though. So he'd have to drop another, which he probably does have two more. If that's what he's digging for. He's digging for something. And I got that path ready for that Liliana, boy. I'll tell you what. A su oh we type back A su indeed Bruh Phyrixian Arena, yeah, I was kinda wondering when this was gonna come into play here for him. Um because that definitely seems like a card that would be up his alley. Okay. Uh non land, three card, da da da. Do I want him to get another land? Screw it, let's get this out of the way here. He's going to take it anyway. Might as well. So he grabbed another land off that, which sucks. But, uh... And now we have no answer to Liliana. But it was going to get removed no matter what the hell we did. So, use it or lose it kind of vibe. So, for the four-turn clock for dude... No, actually with the, uh, the triggers on here, we might be seeing a kill... A little bit sooner. With the uh, Sword of Fire and Ice, with that extra two damage. And that usually helps with, you know, just killing creatures, obviously. Um, declare blockers. Yeah, boy. So keep doing that Phyrexian Arena. And I'll just keep drawing cards while killing you. It's like the opposite of Phyrexian Arena. Riders of Gavney. Awesome. I'm running this as a one of in this deck, and I'm not going to play it right now because you have to choose a creep. I don't know if anybody knows about this card because there are so many. Um, but so this is Riders of Gavany when you have a full board state, and also it helps if your opponent is playing, you know, tribal type stuff like all Merfolk or something. But basically, you choose whatever your biggest obstacle is at the time. Um, even if it's just, like, one creature that happens to be, you know, like a zombie or plant or e even a token. Riders of Gavany, all humans you control, which is... I think I might have, like, one non-human. It's pretty much everything. Um, 
what am I going to sack here? What's more important? I think... So we could do, yeah, we have enough to drop Riders at Gavini. Um, I think we're going to sack Fire and Ice, or the, the White Orchid. I don't know. You know what? If we... We don't have to. We don't, we don't have to. I'll drop Riders at Gavini, call Vampire. Oh, what's up, Vampire? And that'll be game, actually. That's it. Now you can concede. This is how kind of boring magic is. I have to, like, ch talk trash to, like... Oh, okay, do... Actually, okay, so we have the Knight Errant but I want to do something a little different here. I just want to show them my tech, or show actually show you guys. So, Riders of Gavini, call out Vampire. So all your humans, protection from Vampire, right? Did this work? Human creatures, so this is a human. Oh, okay, it's his chance to respond. I think I spelled concede wrong the second time. Yeah, I just like telling you, now you can concede. See, five to four. Like, I, I ain't giving up. I ain't giving up. Uh, yeah, so we, probably an easier kill. We could have dropped the Elspeth and done the, the flying double strike and all that. But I wanted to kind of be slick here. Styling on them with the Riders of Gavini. The other card is uh, Charge Across the Araba. Check, you, you're going to have to Google that one. But I'll tell you what it is. It's like, uh, cost something. You basically scoop up all your planes. Like, it's an all-in move. Um, and I saw somebody on a Pro Tour on their deck tech actually use it. And uh, you scoop up all your planes. It's, it's more for tokens, actually. And um, once you got like a full board state, feels like you can get the win... Unless they have, like, Pact of Negate. I, I don't know. You know, there's, there's always some answer. But scoop up your planes. For every planes, your creatures get 1-1. One, one. And flying, I think, too. Something like that. And uh, it's just an awesome card. I, I love making the janky cards kind of work with within a deck. Like, Riders of Gavini, like, nobody plays that. So nobody sees it coming. Like, especially when all your stuff is humans. And this what it is, like... So let's say he had... A, um, I think this dude just walked away from the computer. It's a good thing I'm good at talking. Um, if he had, like, vampire, da 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 like, all different creature types, you base, you know, at that point, you would just choose whatever you're trying to get through. It, you know, the larger your board state, the better. Or the, the more developed your board state is, the, the better for Riders of Gaffney. It's definitely kind of like, it's usually the last card that you want to be dropping. Um, you don't want to kind of, I mean, I, there's nothing wrong with it either way, but, um, yeah, it's, it's usually like, like a finisher card. Um, now I'm thinking that this person walked away and so that, how many, they got 12 minutes. I can't talk or I'm not going to make you guys watch for 12 minutes, but I think this person just walked away from the computer. So, this is the current state of MTGO. I haven't played in a long time. We got three people conceding against us. And then we got one person that just walked away from the computer. This is MTGO right now. This is a freaking garbage fire. Like, I came here to have fun. I'm having fun talking to you guys. Because um, it's been a while and... You know, it's good to say what's up. If, if you want to check me out, you know, it's it's the National Pool. Everywhere, Instagram, Twitter. And if you like ambient music, I got a record coming out on a label, actually. Um, pretty exciting stuff. Don't have a date for it yet, but uh, it's coming. It's pretty cool. 
and I'm really active on Instagram. So say say what's up. I don't really talk about magic much on there because it's not really in my wheelhouse at the moment. But um, yeah, so I'll leave it there. This dude, you you know how this game was gonna play out, man. Yeah, I I win. <laughs> I hope everybody's doing well. Um, and um, I can't say I'll talk to you soon unless you hit me up on Instagram. Then we'll talk soon. But, uh, you know, because obviously this has been a blast. <laughs> Some great enthralling games here. Um, but uh, I played Hearthstone for a while and I just didn't have the time for it. So um, anyway, I hope everybody's doing well. And um, I'm not going to say keep hustling, but just, uh, just but do, do what you love. I realized last night, I was like, what if I died right now? What would my last thought be? And it would be, I wish I wrote more music. So that's what I'm, you know, I've been doing so much eBay recently. And uh, so I'm just going to, you know, do a music. And not just like doing it, but like giving it an, an honest push. Um, and maybe magic too, because I'm actually having fun. Like, uh, there's not even a game going on right now. Cause th this is how much I hate conceding. I will not concede. <laughs> This is how much I hate conceding, even in the just for fun area. Um, I'll just keep running my mouth until the person comes back to the computer. But um, so yeah, so I I moved from Baltimore to Oregon recently, and uh, and it's cool out here. It's nice. It's quiet. It's safe. It's good. I like it. Um, but uh, yeah, st stay tuned. Uh, probably be a little bit active on. YouTube here and there, bits and bobs and stuff, but uh, definitely IG is where I'm at, the National Pool, and uh, hit subscribe, check me out, playing the same five decks over and over again, I have a good time. As much as I hate to do it, I'm going to concede this game, I'm not going to talk any trash, I was going to talk like, like, well played, dude, like... Okay. All right, everybody. Crush Television wins the match by walking away from the computer. Like, if if that was like a real thing, like you could just do this. Like, oh, guess what? I win. I win now. That's it. Like in an actual tournament. That's what's up. This has been. Brad with the... Now let me make sure you can see me. This has been Brad with the National Pool. Doing music. I've been doing a lot of glitch art, actually. Um, and I'm digging it on Instagram. I haven't updated OBS for a while. Take care. <laughs> this has been an interesting episode. Alright, y'all. Peace.